Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, session 62, if you can believe it. It is the 3rd of August, 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Good evening. I am uh, I'm Colin, and I will be playing Michael Quint, your resident... Evil. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sneaky, spooky, operative guy, an all-round... Space dude. Hmm. That's fair. Hmm. Neo. He's muted. Give him time. <laughs> Fucking muted, isn't he? Oh, he's must have disconnected. Okay, so take it away. Oh, mine to manage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what, a d what a diddly. Uh, how are we gonna <laughs> pick up from this? Intermission. Do, 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 we better own the rights to that, Colin. <laughs> uh, it's just like a generic intermission noise. I'm sure no one's copyright that. <laughs> what Disney has. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, um, do we just keep going, guys, and we'll just come back to Nico. What up? It's your boy, Weird, played by. Alex, the human statistician. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. I'm Callum. And I will be playing Zig. The burning sun. Mystical space rat. I was genuinely waiting on Priestess of Chaos. I was I was, <laughs> was going there and then realised I would made a mistake and um, tried to rein it back. So mm. you got this sort of in between. Um, made a mistake. This, um, going on holiday tonight. Or Zia, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the priestess of sun or the burning. Zia you know. was actually a character in another game, I ran and the you were in. Was that in Genesis? Yeah, so it was in the Origin game. It was a uh, Quake's character, yeah, Zia, the big crystal creature. Oh yeah, Zia. Yup. So long ago. It was it was many moons. So many moons ago. That was a lot. Welcome of back. We bought you time. Thank you. And pizza. We didn't. That's lying. I'm lying. No one even noticed you were gone, Nico. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, we definitely noticed the shade that you're providing, though, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is large. Wow. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. I think he means weird. Maybe he doesn't. I'm not going to speak no, for him. Fine. I don't know. Yeah. I've never met him. Oof. Yeah. I am the chunk. <gasps> <laughs> so, Nico. Yes? Don't do your intro. Hello. Explain yourself. I'm Nico. I'm Ben Zora, best captain. Nice of you to join us. Thank you. I thought I'd realise what time sorry. do you call this, son? <laughs> I didn't realise we'd started. I mean, I count as in. I do my intro. <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> such. <laughs> such. <laughs> such <laughs> profession. <laughs> such professionalism. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, just. Sorry. <laughs> My my favourite thing is pretty much that on the nose is that after sixty two sessions it doesn't get better guys. This is us. Like I hope Emily that stuck with us so far. Bravo. And that is about Downhill it. Downhill from here. Yes, <laughs> it's the new Found Glory sign. I was literally yeah. uh, ready for the board I was the Fuck off. <laughs> I was ready until the moment I was nae, and then I was nae ready, and that's when you needed me to be ready. So, really, was I ever truly ready? No. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Yeah. Yes. And or as bay, you can get your merch at victortriumphstore.com, and uh, that's, that's all I've got. You can get my new t-shirt design, some of my best friends are women. Well, uh, it's available in sizes XL through XXXXL. No, it's only available through incel sizes, <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> hey, he's making a funny, hey. So anyway, what do you remember 
from last time. <laughs> oh, um, pain and suffering. Uh, mm, true that. Uh, oh. mm. I'm easy, if I'm honest, because I wasn't of pain and suffering. Yeah. Um, um, well, we didn't. Our bit part of the group then through a huge amount after that because obviously you weren't well. I, I remember um, we were just we were sort we were sort of just preparing to go on a mission essentially. Yeah, yeah. I remember that part. And the other ones probably happened. destroyed the universe or something. I can't remember. No, no. Oh, um, was it was it last time or was it the time before we did all the both um, the granny parents? I remember granny we parents. Were trying. <laughs> <The dry> grandparents. <laughs> it was second Francis. That's all I remember, personally. Granny parents! Sorry, you were- Granny parents! I remember right. weird pride in second, second, for answers. And for then the there were the, the children who may or may not so, be the queen. So, Nico remembers two sessions ago, which is when weird met second, second. and then oh, woke was up. It, was it not pride in the board at the start of the last session? Like, like, yeah. Asked some but, extra but, questions, like... He was, why is he first? I, think, I think he was trying to find first. I always try to get a hold of first, but he was like, no. Well, then we were. They, well. they were on. Um, well, he was on. I'm revising this downward every time. And the, <laughs> part of him was on Galarian, maybe. In the past, possibly. Some of him was present. <laughs> and or not. And or. Or. And or. <laughs> oh, oh, and then and then uh, Zag got transport, which was somewhere, and he was, was a fisherman or something. I don't know a Somewhere, there's something. There's something he some, he met a guy. The fruit market, and yeah. he gave him a fruit, and it was very nice. And then he I had just a fisherman. Flew away <laughs> in terror and confusion because he didn't know how to get out of the. I can't jump off a cart normally. I have to just yeah. Superman away. Yes. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with this social interaction. Just oh, scream and fly away. Star form. I don't think he screamed. I remember it was like... You should have. Yeah, dude, it got up, sat next to him, and... I am oh, probably first. I don't know. A bit was he. But... We'll see. We'll see. So I think we know that he is, Zig is now Johnny Storm in the Fantastic Four parallel. <laughs> That's it. Yep. Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, I met Sanida and the other one. <laughs> Why do you never remember the sister's name? Lanterol. Wait, don't tell me. Lantorel. <laughs> Lan Lan is that a Lantorel. Yes. Lantorel. Okay, yeah. Oh, cool. um, <laughs> Lanzarote is not close. <laughs> <laughs> uh. um, and... Yeah, and it's either um, them or their grandparents. Right. No. No, 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 <laughs> that's a lie. It's either them or their grandchildren. Um, it's either the grandparents or the grandchildren. I think, and it's a bad. It's just said to be a bad omen that they were named Tanida and um, Lantrell. Because Tarell. traditionally, Tanidas and Lantrells do not get on. It's like Pisces and one of the other. One ends up locking things. one up, and you're like, oh man. It's like black and white. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Actually, it's I didn't realise the sensitive situation. Um. Ex so sorry. Nicole. Sorry. Sorry. Just let's let's just quote our Lord Why and Savior. No, no. Let's just quote our Lord and Savior, Michael Jackson. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not If you're black or white. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin has denied any impropriety, and I trust Macaulay Culkin. Really? After Party Monster. Which was a great film, by the way, if you haven't think, seen it. I think there might be something wrong with Macaulay Culkin, but he yeah. seems like a nice guy. He went down a very dark, druggy route. That's what happened to Macaulay Culkin. I will He's refer everyone intense. to Party Monster, and that is all you need to watch to understand Macaulay Culkin. Um, it's a shame, because Macaulay Culkin. I mean, bringing it back to our game, though. Yes. Right? So, what, yes. else, what else happened last time? So we've got Zig meeting maybe Snyder and Lanteral. And then everything froze. And then because the world was falling apart. I met apart. Zig met um uh first, second, or third. <laughs> third. Third. Um, and we had a wee chat, and I was like, hmm. 
you can tell. Quite similar chat to what um, uh, Weird and Second had, um, but more ziggy. Hmm. You could tell it wasn't first because he was fairly shallow. Please, no. Just fuck agree. off. <laughs> Colin, no, don't make me server meet you. Um, <laughs> just for the rest of the game, in fact. Um, <laughs> I'm going to become more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. If you silence me now. <laughs> anyway. When you silence me, I will grow louder. <laughs> I'll be good. I'll so be good. thus concludes my <laughs> thus concludes my sixty-two session uh, seminar on why you shouldn't GM. <laughs> um, this is an example why you should. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll take that somehow. You don't get a GM. Mm, I mean, yeah. I guess that's a s- not GM. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, and therefore, back in the recap. So, first, second, and third were mentioned. Yeah, the aspects of Triune. And just what you're piecing together? Yeah, that's what I have confirmed. I see, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, and now I'm chilling with Query. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. And I think someone else turned up there. Yes. They indeed introduced themselves as first. Yes. Yep. So it's you, query, and first. And first took the form of Nyx. Yep. I want to say it was Nyx 2. I feel that like. Sounds I mean, sh- if it wasn't, it is now. And, um, yeah. There is literally no way anyone can check that we got it wrong. Not at all. Um. But yes, uh, <laughs> besides all of that, um, let's see. I was trying to roll back to see if there was anything even remotely resembling a dice roll that. We don't we, roll dice in this game. We don't, though. I'm, I'm noticing no. this. Um, no, the only time we roll dice is when we level up, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> yep. Look what I can do! But never will. But never will. <laughs> because it will bring pain or plot development, both of which we don't want. Um, uh, to plot development. See, to be fair, right? Like, I mean, as, as silly as that is to say, like, there has been maybe too much plot development in this game. Yeah, let's scale it back. Okay. What do you want to lose? Look. He's got to keep five yeah. NPCs. Okay, we keep Ivan. Oh. Right, cool. That's one. Uh, is it exclusive to this game? And that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I want Pavati from Outer Worlds. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Guys. Okay, we get two. Right. <coughs> I think a uh, Guilty Spark three four three from Halo. Oh, God. Uh, I think Ooh. it's very important that we have Hin Denberg, the uh, Zeppelin Master from Tears <laughs> Glades. Sure. And we need the Merchant from Resident Evil Four. There we oh, go. Mate, I get a choice hey, about that it. trap. Right, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, uh. There we go. Input Ivan's out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like Andros would be a good, like, he'd just be a good hang. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's. Yeah. 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 With his battle stims. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. With HK47, right? They kind of lose anger. It's an important lesson. Besides that nonsense, whatever that was, um, is there anything else from last session that you wish to recant, recount, recant, rebuff? Recant, yeah. I, I recant rebuff. all of what I said. <laughs> that was what you said last time. I would like to some of my previous co- um, is Colin's not allowed to do that, right? I mean, sure. We did agree last time that the rules could change every week and so can the system, so, like, yep. why not? Right, I'll hold myself to that. <laughs> <laughs> or will I, if the rules change? Um, oh no. I know. <laughs> too meta. Too meta. Too furious. Too much, too young, too fast. Uh, yes. But, anything else worth mentioning before we start the game? About the game's recap, I mean. Um, oh, okay. Well done. You're and, good, uh, good to lock that down. <laughs> 
<laughs> a very important caveat, or as Stephen would say, cravat. The immortal cravat. The cravat. The immortal cravat. So, Lyco, uh, or uh, Zora, or Weird, or Zig. Anything else you want to add to the recap? Uh, is there anything they covered? But I, I, I know up top of it. Yeah, so what did Nico miss every day from last time? That's my better question. The last I will. I want to go and chill with you. On uh, a poste. Why my query again? Did you? Say? Yeah. He said he was a little bit confused about meeting me. I think oh, because you were meeting on your terms rather than his, as I recall. Yeah, yeah that's unique. So, a mind linked with weird. Mm -hmm. That was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's also a good start with us, like an adventure, isn't it? I mean, like, um, oh no! <laughs> the walk. And, oh, um, weird. well, now Weird is talking to Query somewhere, which was the which is the ultimate goal, and Zig um, witnessed uh, Galerian exploding, possibly, maybe? So what? Good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure. If you that's what you take from that. Um yeah. Success. Y yeah, so Zig y you remember the bit where Zig mind linked and then obviously ended up on that planet and it felt weirdly like rural. Um then Yeah, weird ended up way way out somewhere else. And was there with Query and uh, first. Zig met a lovely priestess lady, because when does he not? Nice. Um, and put up with the fact that I was talking utter insanity. <laughs> yep. uh, I'm from another time. She was a Desna priestess. Um, and yeah. Spoke to her a bit. There was a mighty shaking of the earth, and uh, they all went outside, and everything kind of froze for Zig. Mm -hmm. And then he kind of went to the edge to look down, and uh, he bumped into Edzo 14. Which is not fair. <laughs> um. Technically, Zora's aware of Edzo 14, at least visually. Mm. She was at graduation day. Zig's mentor. Yeah, yeah, I remember Edzo 14. That's fine. Badass. Was it Salt Lady? She was a Salarian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had um, kind of like big golden jellyfish style flowing robe armor. Okay. That's a phrase, yep. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Recognize those as words in the English language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. And I mean, it, I can kind of visualize it almost. Yeah. And, uh. Yeah, I'd say we're. That, that's good enough, right? That's, that's just caught up. Uh, yeah. And as you all know, we do goals at the end now. Um, and solely at the end. Solely. So, um. Speaking of jumping mm -hmm. into the game. Yes. I think we uh, we open up on the bridge of the final hour. Guys, hello. And uh, we've got Alice sat in the chair with her feet up, just leaning back, kind of just staring at the ceiling of the uh, the bridge. Where is everybody else? Is that so hard? The right way in transit. Yeah. The right. Who? God, I definitely slept first. This would be after obviously mushroom um, stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I foolishly apparently did. I actually write down the time it would take for you guys to get here. I don't know if we even rolled that. 
I've I got, didn't think we had yet. I've got the final hour's travel time from Akaton to Versus, and that was two days. And okay, maybe we did roll that. Oh, uh, yeah! I think we... <laughs> and it was 16 hours for uh, <sighs> the Azure Flare to get from Akaton to the Sun. That went well. What, what would I need to do? Yeah, we could roll that, and then, because we need to go to the... The coordinates? Vessel. No. Yeah. Yes, the Kivalari. Uh, yeah, we hadn't done that one yet. Because I was just talking with, with Alice. Yeah, you and Alice had a big um, heart to heart, almost. Oh. I remember I tried heart to heart as well. It was good. I think, I think. I think it just sort of trailed off with her wandering off and me still being in my room, so. Ah, yes, yes. If we're, yes, if we're sort of carrying on from there, I can emerge and sort of. Uh, yeah, we can go back to that if you want, because I just imagined that um, I was just putting you on like a neutral wherever you want to be space. So yeah, like he's kind of. No, no, we, we, we can. Uh, uh, right, yeah, I, I would just have said, oh, I go to the bridge or something like that, so we can just be in the bridge then if that's. Well, yeah, like maybe we'll just open up with Zora, leave, like heading to the bridge after a rest then, right? Yeah. Do you just want to roll me a d6 for travel time? And we'll just have this as the, the, the new Do travel time. I don't mind I don't remember we already rolled. I think that was just for the pre the first leg to get to Versys. Okay. I think I may be mistaken, but I think that's what it was. I mean, if you can find the role, then we can find update, the update this. Find the I don't remember for some reason. Oh, yeah, sure. What ratings to drive on uh, this ship? Two. two I think. I think. Did you say? Because I remember that's why I remember you saying two last sesh. It's in your journal somewhere. Uh, the Nori Camera drop ship. In our diversities, yes, we haven't done the next light, the next leg, as far as I can tell. So, let's just get past it somewhere along the way. Yeah, drift two is the Nori Camera. No, well, no. So that is a day and a half. One point five days. Uh, I'm not One seeing any rolls, if I'm honest with you. Um, yeah. Listen. Well, like in general. Four. <laughs> I, I rolled a four actually. 1d6, I rolled a 4. And. Yeah, ah, there we go, 2 days to go towards of Cavallari. Just there you go. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so we're. Right. Perfect. 2 days. We'll go for the two I know days. we just done this yeah, half a day, but. I mean, I mean you said done I, you out of, but now you've got more prep time. Is that? Is that? Right, I'll write that down. That. So. Was utterly not paying attention. Last final session, hour <laughs> to oh, Cavallari. 2 days. There we go. Cool. I've got that written down now. It's a thing now. It's, it's on paper. <laughs> and thus fact. Right. So, yeah. Hey. You can... So I guess, like, my question then, before you walk onto the bridge is, uh, what did you do for the rest of your day that you had to yourself, apparently, uh, Lyco? That's an excellent question. So I'd, I'd probably prepped on my guns and what have you. Um... So, I would probably use it to, I don't know, maybe do some research. Um, if I have anything, like, I doubt I'd be able to access any sort of data space or whatever we're calling it from here. But, you know, maybe I have some stuff in my personal files that would be relevant that I could sort of dig through and see what I could expect, perhaps, from the vehicle or, you know. What kind of capacity is this type of vehicle had? If that information is included in what he's given us, or was it just? Oh, do you mean like the almost just like information about the Kiva Larry? Like, oh, for, 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 yeah. Um, that's a very interesting question. Why don't you roll me a computer's check and computers. a computer's check, please, Jen? I've rolled fourteen computers. Okay, so who do you ask to help you do this? Oh God. Cause that I'll give you my one skill check to help. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I bumped into the captain, <laughs> in the hallway, uh, holding a, holding like a a data pad of some sort and sort of looking frustrated at it and maybe hitting it a little. Um, perhaps ask. Pardon? Um. He's uh you know I mean it's not that we would be able to fix, right? 
it's it's fine. I just I fi stupid. I, I, I don't, <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a computers guy. It I had some stuff on it. I can. I don't know. I don't know if we should trust the uh, to all the information that we have and everything. It's like I said, not, nothing weird can't fix, right? But weirds. For hey, CC, that's an idea. Where is yeah. he? I would give a, a um, good question. <laughs> this show, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Could be uh, anywhere. <laughs> I will send him a message. Boy. I will send him a message. Yeah. But yeah. I guess. Uh, text or voice? Text. Yeah. And then um, there is like maybe a minute of nothing. And then there's the three dots. And it just says, why? Could you just help me a uh, computer problem? And you get a, a reply. Oh, yeah. You get a reply instantly saying where. Uh, blah, 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 X hallway. Okay, so <laughs> we have a hallway we're in. Ah, hallway X. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> Vesk go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, X. X. Um, Why? And obviously, he's a bridge, right? Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's why we're called Zora, to bridge your people. My board at the cross section, okay, and we call it the X, okay? M maybe you do. Maybe you could just have said your quarters. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like. Hey, oh. Actually, I'll, 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 I'll just message him because he. He's typing as he says this, yeah. He, uh, he cloned all of the data that was on it at that point, so he should have anything that I have uh, regarding ship specs for the... For, what, what was it called? Oh, the key for Larry? Yeah. yeah. For the uh, whatever model that might be. Assuming I know that. Sure, yeah. Um, Five seconds. Uh, so, what are you going to send to a CC then by that. Just a little message saying, uh, CC problem is I can't find data on ship model X. Do you have it? It was on thing, or on com unit when you cloned it, or something like that. And uh, you get a reply that is about seventeen emoji faces. They're all different. Uh, the first one starts off like a thinking face, and the rest don't make any sense beyond that. I uh, I have no idea about his strength. It's just, it's just little faces. It's a, it's, he's thinking. This one's blowing a trumpet. Uh, Eureka? Maybe? Um. <laughs> the idea that Zora says Eureka and uh, like it just asks so many questions. Um, uh, <laughs> it's um, more to to ah. <laughs> to ah. Aha! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> That's amazing. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Um, eventually, uh, like I guess, are you still in like the captain's quarters? Is that where he's are just now? Um, probably like in a hallway towards the bridge. I guess is where we. I, I don't know actually. Okay. I um, mean the captain's quarters. I mean he was just. Oh, remember you told me you were going to take like a day to rest. Oh well, I guess I guess he would have that just take take the, the, the thing to me, right? Why would? I think because he's because he's because he's helpful that way, you know. 
I, I mean, I try, but I mean, like, like computers, you think? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't Technology. me. That, it wasn't me that suggested going to you. That was a. Uh, no. That was all Lyco. Technology. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, well, I'll, 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 I'll send him a voice message. Where are they? See, we'll come to you. We're in the captain's quarters if you want to come to us. And um, you hear like. What's what's the best way to describe what you hear? In fact, like <laughs> like metal being like dented gently, um, mm. and then a smashing sound from like under the bed, and then <sighs> and then just the the chitterings of <laughs> and then like crawls out from under the bed, out of the vent. That is under the bed. Uh, um, I think I'm used to that. Was like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's not that different behavior, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, CC. D did you did you have that data, or do you know where I where I put it? He kind of walks up to you. Um, scratching his butt with it on his hands, and then he kind of like points at his stomach and then points at his mouth with his other hand, and just looks up at you and blinks. I mean, I'm assuming you didn't like eat it because it's data, so I think probably uh, asking I'll, for food. I'll search him my, my pockets for a protein bar. I'll, I'll probably go one. Uh, I love I love how you just I think you're. I was gonna say I yeah. Rations, right? I bought so many rations. I'm they're rations. all protein bars. <laughs> okay, how many rations, rations are on yes. your inventory? Uh, two, because like, there you go. Uh, Mark it down to one. <laughs> okay, right, right, because I had a lot on the final level. Where's my grain? I want my grain back. I don't want my fucking rations back. I mean, it's on the verses. I will go back again. <laughs> Turn the ship around, lads. Versus the stop. Plant my rations. I'll throw my ration bar and I'll mark it. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, so that happens. Uh, and he just devours the thing, doesn't unwrap it. He just devours uh, it. And then just. Probably kind of shouldn't have eaten that. He just kind of burps on the spot. Oh, shock. I mean, I don't know what I said at one point. And, uh, and he just kind of look, looks at you. And then he uh, scratches his butt again. Uh, the computer. He kind of tilts his head to the like side and scratches like he's his ear. I go get the computer. Uh, <laughs> here is the compad. I had all the same stuff on it. And kind of tilts his I head again. It towards him, yeah. He kind of like does grabby hands to take it. <laughs> sure, sure. I, I, I give him it. I give him it. And uh, he kind of looks at it and just sits in his butt again, and then just like starts like tapping away on all of it. I am, um, and then like as like three of his hands are typing on the screen, like one of them is at the side, like just breaking the side of the the pad, oh. and uh, then yeah, like he just kind of carries on for about five or ten minutes. Just do anything or talk about anything in the five I'll or ten. Just, I probably sat down and like. One of two, maybe there's even probably there probably you know it's the two chairs in this. I'll be two as a captain's quarters, right? There's, there's two. Oh, there's there's a, there, there, there's probably a couch area, right? Yeah, 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 I'll probably just sit and relax in there, you know. Just, I was gotta go to sleep. <laughs> um, I'll lean against the door frame because that's the kind of guy I am. It's love, like it, like. I mean. He does have a lot of edges to him. Mm. 
so there is that. You know what else is a lot of edges? A ship. Mm hmm. True that. <laughs> Lyco is a ship. Is that what we've learned? If he weighs the same as a ship, then he can fly. I mean, I don't know if that's true, but like, for the purposes of um, no science. Sure. No science, no diggy. Um, yeah, I, I was just sort of lean against it, tap my foot a little bit, look at him impatiently, you know? Yeah. Do, do that thing where you look at someone in a way that says, I don't want to tell you to hurry up. But hurry up. But hurry up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think he's even paying attention to you. He's too busy, like, that'll probably just berating the, uh, the console itself. Uh, also, I forgot that we have this, so enjoy. Enjoy being hypnotized by. Whoa! Whoa! Do 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 I can't do this. Um. Yes. Are you? So, mm -hmm. after that, I. By the way, in the journal, everybody should have access to the Kivalari tool. By the way. Um. Join. I think um, he just hands you your comm back. Uh, thank you. He kind of hangs off of it for a bit, though. It... Come on. Thank you, but you, 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 don't, you don't need it. He kind of just tilts his head at the idea of that sentence. Uh, I, ju I just continue lifting. Yeah. Is he dangling from it? Yeah. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, I I move I move him over towards the captain's bed and sort of just like lower him down so he's standing in that. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. I mean, he's still <laughs> un unwilling to really let go, to be honest. And then but, yeah. I tug on it slightly harder. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, eventually, I think he just lets go. Thank uh, you. <laughs> much 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 appreciated. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and he kind of just looks at you. And it blinks slowly. And yeah, there he's go. there's the information. Thank you. So I'm going to have a quick look at its specs. My, my beautiful editing skills there. <laughs> oh yeah, this is very, very quick. Very nicely done. Or had you anticipated I would ask that? <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it made sense that you'd ask that, but no, I made that like during that conversation. That's what the gravity hands was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was an elaborate style way I made an image. It was a rouge! Or an rouge, as they say. They don't, they don't Sorry. say that. Sorry, that. that was, that was like a behind the scenes. Yeah, pay no attention right. to the man behind the curtain, please. <laughs> that he's doing anyway. Yeah, huh? Fur, 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 fur. So uh, yeah, what did you just want to know? Because I feel like there is everything you could possibly want to know about the Kivalari. Just generally things. So I see him as a dex, and for those of you that don't speak Nico, neither do we. Got crew quarters, got free cargo holds, got science lab, need the flight, and you can assume it's got a bridge. I'm going to assume it's got an engine room. It's cool. Sorted. So it's it's a fairly... It's a relatively small vessel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably... It's, prob it's, gonna say, it's probably... Big. It's probably going to be the same size as, like, the uh, the 11th hour, right? Give or take. Hmm. It does seem less potent than it. <laughs> no, that one looks more potent than the Limfo. The Limfo was less. Was it? Oh, the it's left, the final right, hour. the final hour, yeah, okay. The final hour is like it, an, a, a VESC ship, so that is, yeah. that's, you know, it's, really, it's a chunk. The numbers here, the, the HP is almost double. Okay, man, you the, do have the, the Narakama dropship are. stuff, there you go. Like, the final hour was like a little freighter, essentially, or a freighter, essentially, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but like, the Kivalari is a tier 1, and the Narakama, aka the final hour, is a tier 8, so... That should maybe explain the difference. There is, the there is an AC of 10 difference between them. Yeah. That should highlight 
the AFC diff of 10, 45 HP, which is almost du double. <laughs> the, the speed is double. Um. Yeah, like he's that's more maneuverable though. Like, so. yeah, but it's because you know, yeah, this your scale of the ship, right? Okay, forward so gun. <laughs> it's reasonably armed. Shields don't look too amazing. I don't think it holds that much in the way of crew, so it should probably probably be relatively quick to check through. Let's hope it get in a fight and outside anyway. That was too much suspicion. I mean that would be my preference, but uh inside looks simple enough, should be easy enough to clear. <laughs> And lab. Probably should have a look there. See what we can see. Okay. Well, if this thing's even still active, I don't think we're under too much threat. But probably from the sound of, of it, the situation escalated and it's either disabled or destroyed so probably best approaching close the, the gunshot regardless we don't want to exactly blow it up due to them thinking of vesk vessels incoming maybe there is survivors sure it's also worth noting like what happened to it mm -hmm. <clears throat> When we mm. get a visual, um, we should we should hail first and see if anyone responds. Mm. Or could be in control. control. Yeah, could okay. be in control of the or it could be in control of the vest right now. It'd be a fifty-fifty, and what we would the hail would arouse suspicion. Do you think the vest could attack it though? I think they would maybe try and if it was defensive and. Defenseless enough, which it is, they would probably try and take it over, maybe? Mm -hmm. See what the deal is. These vests are acting out a bit. My main concern is the, uh. Well, obviously, they're, they're, they're the Eoxians are perhaps a little bit rogue involved, and that could potentially mean that there might be the, the corpse fleet involved. I don't know. I would just I would think that if they were gonna attack something they would want some plausible deniability. But it definitely sounds like he's anticipating the situation has not gone well for this ship. Uh Babak that is. Mm -hmm. um, so with that in mind, I'm inclined to think that we may be walking into a destroyed ship. Mm -hmm. Or at least an overtaken one, you know. I think I cleaned it. Oh, that's what we're going to derelict. That's mm. what we're going to find. Quite possibly. And, um. Well. Yeah, Lyco just wanted the specs to be prepared. Um. He's not, you know, he's not like a pilot so, or anything. But he's here's the thing, right? Like. like model a ship and go, oh, yeah, I know those. So, yeah, like, based on that logic, though, right? What preparations do you now want to make based on what you have information wise? Hmm. Good question. Mm hmm. <laughs> So what CC. He kind of just looks up and he's just absentmindedly rubbing his stomach. Is there be any way to make a little drop ship run up a bit more silently than normal? He kind of just nods his head quite, like, excitedly. Okay. That's promising. Like, so we could maybe approach the ship without, so we can get a good look before we board, well, board, if it's there. Yeah, and nods emphatically again, like, with like furrowed eyebrows this time. Can you do this? Again, nods a third time, slightly more like, annoyed looking. Do it. Just 
shakes his head side to side. Oh, uh, Fiji. Tilts his head and his little ears like flicker. <laughs> um, but he kind of like, he looks sad and just shakes his head side to side. And then um, picks up the duvet, if you will, or the blanket from the, the bed and just wraps it over him and just hides under it. Is he upset? Uh, yeah, like, it like comes back out of the the blanket and just looks at both of you and shakes his head. I uh, and just goes ah, bah, 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 and points at you angrily, and he points at the blanket, and well, I mean, and then throws the blanket on the floor, and then points at the bed. Uh, tell me, sleep my floor. Oh, fuck him, sir. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pop head. He <laughs> 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 keeps me on my head. <laughs> so we noticed last week. Hi, all. So apparently I typed uh, this uh, long ago, but it doesn't matter. Um, <coughs> Yeah. Ah, what I just said is, I was going to go to sleep. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So he shakes his head. Sleep. Just shakes his head. And puts like his two of his hands over his like his eyes. I didn't go to sleep, sorry. He like, just, he just, just shakes his head again. I, I don't get what he wants. Then he jumps off the bed, picks up the blanket, horribly tries to climb back up onto the bed, um, and then points at you. A uh, Lyco. And then points uh, at a. Uh, at Zora. And then put and just stares at you, Lyco. Um. <laughs> what does it want? I. Look, can I roll sense motive? Yeah. Uh, cause I, I, I don't. I don't know. But 28 might. Get me some intuition. Uh, it looks like he wants you to look at Zora, the way he's in the king. Uh, yeah, I see him. And then throws the blanket over Zora. And then just does like the kind of ta da motions with his oh. six hands. He was making a joke, Captain. He kind of shakes his head and just starts berating you now. <laughs> Very agitatedly. And like walks over and pulls oh, the blanket like, off of Zora. You're not actually gonna do that with the ship though, because And like he points at you when you like you say that and then points at the blanket like rolled up in his hands and then he throws the blanket under the bed and then just puts all of his hands out to the side. Uh, and just looks up at both of you. Ta da He shakes his head. Very like solemnly. Uh, is it, I mean, are you suggesting hiding it under something larger? He just face palms. He just walks out of the room really slowly. Uh, I don't. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't get what he's going uh, for. He even leaves by the door. That's how sad he is. We can't just like approach with with the ship. We need to take the shuttle. Because if we try to hide the shuttle using the ship, that's just a doubling of effort. And also, probably not not very hard to spot. My favourite part about the whole thing is that CC can communicate normally. I know, you <laughs> choose not to! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just play charades. I it's don't know why charades. I mean, it's maybe just a... Uh, the scooter man or mind set, that's all. Cover it up? Is he suggesting a cover up? Is he suggesting we change the lettering on the outside of the ship to read something like legitimate rescue operation in case they're still there or legitimate looting operation if they're not? Why don't we freeze frame that scene and then we ask our other two players if they have any idea what CC is suggesting? Is it something to do with a cloaking device? I mean, I mean that, that's what I kind of suspected, right? But 
mean, it's all over the world, but I fucking call it Underface, probably. It's no common pick as I guess it's pretty common in this. I don't think Lyco would have like, got it from Why didn't you roll engineering people. then? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has got to be so a joy. Go for it, Zora. Let's roll this one. Let's roll one. Click. Uh, like 15. <laughs> it's not great, is it? Um, I mean, it, it, it is a 14 roll, but like, yeah. I've got nothing in engineering. <laughs> I mean, you are aware that ships have been able to approach other ships undetected. I think I can give you that much, right? That is a thing you are aware of. Given that, you know, half of the Obsidian Star. Specific ships do that. Otherwise, they wouldn't really function right. I, mean, I just don't know. I think we'd know about a cloak, <laughs> a cloaking device. No, oh, but you could say something about it. Like, uh. It depends what you think. Uh, CC was trying to convey information-wise with the blanket. Do you? I will send them like a text. You mean one in disguise? There no, I don't think he means that. I left. No, so you were just texting that. He was yeah, texting yeah, that, yeah. and there's no um, there's no reply yeah. either. Ah, oh. uh, I've got to sleep on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he means. Let me. Let let me. I'll I'll speak to the AI and see what what it thinks. Thinks. Is that technically correct? I'm a shrug. I mean, I, we have all the AIs. I guess I could ask Alice, but it doesn't seem like the time. Um, I'll I'll go to speak to. Finn. Yes. So. Ah, hey, yes. Um, mm. What what are the uh does it, does this ship have any sort of stealth capabilities? This ship is incredibly difficult to detect uh, using basic sensors. Um I've got the shuttle. The shuttle would be a smaller target for sensors to locate, thus much more difficult to pinpoint. Do you think a hmm? Vesk vessel which wasn't actively looking for us would be likely to spot us? Given the nature of this ship's design, it is likely they could spot us without much difficulty, even if they were not specifically looking for us. If they were looking for us, we would unlikely evade their notice, given they would know what to look for. Are there any measures we could take to make ourselves harder to detect? At least less. How, and he, um, he kind of looks at him and goes, how helpful would you like my response to be? Um. As Layman's. helpful as possible. <laughs> and he kind of pinches the bridge of his nose and uh, opens his eyes again, blinks, and then says we could maintain a distance which would make travelling by the dropship much more uh, intense, shall we say. However, it would reduce the likelihood of detection uh, if we maintained a greater distance from our intended target. The travel time by shuttle would make us more vulnerable, however, given the response time would increase dramatically. Of course. 
and our ability to defend ourselves while we're on that shuttle. A vest shuttle is somewhat reinforced, however, a weapon from a Vesk vessel intent on destroying us would likely succeed as per design. Of course. What about not avoiding notice but avoiding identification? Would you like me to fetch a selection of hats, perhaps? Uh, no, I don't think that'll be quite necessary, but, um... Hmm. Hmm. Like, military hats, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm actually being serious uh -huh. in a sense of, like, if a com goes through, I might want to look the part, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like some actual... I never see you guys in hats. Helmets, yeah, but never hats. Uh, I think I would see that myself. <laughs> uh, perhaps, like, I probably will wear, wear like a helmet or something, or just to conceal myself a bit. So I'm not quite as blatantly. Zara like, Aura, the Abyss. Albino wizard that's quite. <laughs> a male that's quite literally. So obvious it is. Um, yeah. Okay. So you want to get a hat? That's what I've gathered so far. I'll put my helmet on. I mean, there's like a day I'll put like the match. Like, mm -hmm. so it's helmet on. Okay. And uh, anything else you want from Finn? Uh, hmm. Let me think. Um, oh, yeah. So. <clears throat> Do you. Do you have inf enough information on Eoxian ships to say if they'd readily be able to spot us? He kind of like adjusts his posture in his hologram form and uh, looks like he's genuinely thinking about that and he says there is very little information in the ship's computer regarding Eoxian design uh, most conflicts end in destruction of one or both vessels. The unlikely detection would usually be attributed to a bone sage in command of a fleet, more so than sensors. So it's magic, not tech we have to worry about. And Only from the Viscarium tactical database. That is not to say that their ship designs lack sensor technology. There will be a bone sage, just whether or not he'll be interested in us or close enough to us to... Designation Tech Talanis, is this correct? It looks at both of you. Correct. Oh, I would not. And that's it. Just Finn just stands there. Do you have any information on this specific Bone Sage? I have no information on any of the Bone Sages. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay, um, I think, uh, I think I've asked everything I was tending to ask, uh, thank you, Finn. Excellent. And he just kind of like, you know, politely nods and just flickers out. Mm. Still. Not exactly the most pessimistic assessment. Yeah, I mean, oh. realistically, that was okay, right? Like, good info. Good info. Yeah. the downside is if it's the Vesk looking for you, you're in a Vesk ship, so it'll be easier if they are looking. Uh, I guess. Yeah. 
backwards. Yeah. If the Vesk are the ones looking at us, then we'll probably be identified pretty quickly. And frankly, you at the helm. Sorry, excuse me, that's my chair falling apart slowly. Uh, you at the helm is only going to make that easier for them. So, my thinking, Captain, is that if we're able to establish communication, I should, you know, I should go face forward and, uh, and address whoever we might. Uh, find at the other end. Keep in mind, in terms of like spaceship stuff, right? You can do like text-based communications. You can do voice-only, video, yeah. or a mix of all three. You also don't necessarily need to say, "Look at the giant green Vesk ship that we are in," because if you're far enough away and they don't have windows, yeah, can... like yeah, because space is big and dark, right? So if they can't see you visually. And you ideally want to not be parked next to their windows. You could just make sure that your um, transponder code reads as a different ship. And then, so long as Lyco fits the bill visually, if he does want to do a visual, then. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, and that is pretty much what I was thinking. Like, so, uh. I could make some changes. Excuse <laughs> me. Uh, my, I make some changes to the outfit and uh, I don't know, maybe throw on a little makeup. I usually have some. Uh, I give the impression of not being undead so much. Uh, a human with, uh, you know, a, a human with a. Uh, some unusual clothing and an unusual vehicle isn't necessarily going to cause huge alarm to the stewards. Um, that's half the galaxy you've discussed, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's... I mean, we. I shouldn't have to make too much in the way of changes. To the Vesk, I, I don't think we have to worry too much if I get... if I, uh, if I end up speaking to them. Simply because a lot of you guys aren't quite as good at spotting immediately the differences between things that are roughly human, which is fine. You oh. didn't grow up in a in a system peopled almost entirely with things that more or less look like humans. Wow. Um, wow. That's generalization. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think it should be relatively easy to give the impression of not being a barai. Um, if it is, if it is the best we're speaking to, if it's Stuart, then my initial appearance should only make it a little bit easier. Um, I, if if my identity being revealed would help my case, then I can reveal it. If not, then I can keep it on the down low. So that's my thinking, anyway. If I need to speak to the Vesk, oh, we need to speak to the Vesk. Get rid um, of this. Hopefully, none of us that would see us will park somewhere outside the range hmm. and fly in by shuttle. It's dangerous, mm -hmm. but it's the less chance of getting seen. Yeah, and if we do get hailed, we can establish comms, and maybe you can. I don't know, guide me through what to say. But, but uh, we've got a, a day or so before that. I think, um, yeah. So, you part ways, you go about whatever you do, preparation-wise, or just killing time. Zora gets some sleep, I think, finally. Get your blanket from under the bed. Mm -hmm. And uh, sleep. I... Cloaked. Cloaking devices. <laughs> <laughs> now he gets it! <laughs> um, 
but yeah, like, is there anything you just want to do in that last day before coming up on the like coordinates, like on the I ship, like yeah. between people, whatnot? Find I think that to... Atlas found the gun. Okay. Uh, I was going to say attempt to contact uh, our, our buddies in the other team again. So you can't in drift space though. Oh yeah, of course. Just forgot we're still. Yeah, um, <laughs> you you forgot you're still in drift space. I can see someone's not staring at the trippy GIF screen. Yeah, because I I was intending to just stare at that for <laughs> an end personally. Good, I'm glad. Until I die. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, that that's something we can do later on. Then just maybe after we drop out of of drift. Um, well, you want to start broadcasting as soon as you drop out of drift oh, at the coordinates? Oh, fair point, because, yeah, that could be intercepted. Mm-hmm. Um, giant rat, giant rat, this is... Do lizard have... man, lizard man. <laughs> <laughs> so those specs, obviously, you, sh you shouldn't be like the specs in the book, but would I have, like, a generic floor plan for that class of ship or anything? I mean, you probably could get a generic floor plan for, like, the the hull design, but it wouldn't necessarily be accessible. That would all be like download on demand type info. And also it might be customized inside. Yeah. Like it might have been like obviously it's presenting as a venture class hull. However, perhaps the Kivalari is lying about what it does. It's always lying. Yeah. Perhaps the Kivalari looks like some kind of relief ship but is in fact a secret covert under the, you know, yeah. nose of the Vesk steward yeah, because spy of ship. Course, the, uh, the, yeah, so it, it wouldn't meet those standards. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, yep. So that stuff I think would make sense to Lyco as well, is that the ship is maybe just all of its official documents might say one thing, but it might in actual fact be completely different. Also, it means that if Emda tries to like hack the planet and steal all the information, then when they board the ship, they're running down the wrong corridors and shit, because none of it yeah. is the same layout. So, I mean, yeah, there's there's methods to the the madness, as it were. But yeah, if you are happy with um, that, then I think we just come up on the the, the countdown. He's all wanting to go to the bridge for dropping out of drift. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yep. Um, so yeah, these all get to the bridge. Who's last in the bridge? Is it Lyco or Zora? Uh, I've got last. Fashionably okay. last. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll, stand, I'll stand hands clasped behind the back waiting for my captain. <laughs> I think Finn is just standing next to you, like, just side-eyeing you because that's how he stands. Um, <laughs> side-eyeing people keeping them the side still. Stinky. And uh, Alice is probably still sat with her legs up on the console, just leaning back with the big blue drift space in front of her. And Cece's probably just like standing at the bottom of his chair, just walking around in circles as the chair spins. And uh, Zora, you head onto the bridge. Hmm. And uh, Alice oh. like puts her feet down yeah. and she says, uh, We're about to drop out. And then uh, just smiles at you. Well, let's hope they don't drop into a mess straight away. And then Alice just looks like he goes, Why would we? Um, you know, Vesk, Eoxians, probably dragon men. Are we expecting dragon men? I didn't prepare well, for dragon men. We are in that, that region of space. This is the orbit of Triaxis, more or less. Uh, 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 I mean, it's in between. No, it's, it's in it's between. Towards it, uh, uh, it's in between. And Alice is just like making weird, painful noises. Uh, like, like who can be wrong about space. Yeah. I think it's just right. more that um, the last time Dragon Men were mentioned, she lost all of her friends yeah. for a week. <laughs> and uh, she doesn't have all of them back yet. So, yeah, I think what happens is uh, she. Uh, she kind of like flips around in the chair and shows, okay, dropping out in three, two, one, and then, yeah, you just drop out of drift. 
because nobody fucked with the ship. Yay! Yay. Take that, other guys! And we uh, found Valerion, so... <laughs> yeah, we're... <laughs> <laughs> Found or stumbled upon. Um, Lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you uh, drop out of a uh, drift and uh, Alice's console lights up like a Christmas tree uh, and starts blaring. And she goes, Oh, um, uh, is that supposed to be there? And she just points out of the front window. And uh, all of you, we have that shot of like. Alice is there and over her shoulder we've got like Finn, Lyco and Zoran and Cece still just running in circles with his chair and uh, then we cut to the other guys because obviously that's a great cliffhanger to leave you on Ooh. you say other guys so speaking of the other team speaking of some other uh, weird What about it? What about what? Um, Yeah, you're standing in front of an entity that has taken the shape of one of the Nixes, and you have Query looking uncannily familiar to uh, one of the Nixes, but like Daddy Nix, you know? And uh, Mm. we have you (laughs) in your spell Aegis with your four arms. Your somewhat Cassathan esque vibes to you. And uh, you hear the voice rumble and say to you, You should not be here yet. We hear that fairly regularly. We know. I take it you are Epoch. And then there's there's a look that goes over Nyx 2's face. Um, and then it kind of shakes the look off and looks over to Query. Why are you here? And then Query just shrugs and looks at you. <coughs> he started it. I mean, I think I finished it. I think you were meant to start it. And he just looks confused with himself. He starts like patting down like his waistcoat. When am I supposed to be here? And then like next two turns back to you and says, When you understand. Could you explain it so that I can be where I'm supposed to be? I can instead put you where you are supposed to be. No. That would also be appreciated. I um, <laughs> query. Uh, he like puts his hands up. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Many moments. Other me. And then gestures with both hands vaguely to first. And then like walks up to you scratching like his platinum stool. And he's like, Can we uh can, can, you know, me and you like points between the two of you really quickly. Like can, can we have a chat before you vanish? Sure. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, like does that thing where he walks with you a couple of steps, looks over his shoulder and puts like his arm around you as best he can. Uh, him. And he uh, says do we really want to be leaving here, wherever this is, so quickly? He said we're not supposed to be here. Technically, he said you aren't okay. supposed to be here yet. How do we know, he points between the two of you, that if you wait, that's when you're supposed to be here? Are you doubting him? I don't know what he is. He kind of like he v- gestures vaguely over to that. Yeah, see, I don't have an epoch where I'm from. Triune. And he shakes his head. What's a triune? The god, the god, the 
granted drift travel. Right. We don't have that. Where did you get drift travel? We don't have that. Wow. So you get around really slowly? No. But maybe what we have is just a different thing. What do you have? Well, we have hyperspace. And how does that work? And he kind of like looks up like he's never had to think about it before and he's like, well you've got your ship and you've got where you want to be and then you just, he just smashes both his hands together. You just get there. Are you an engineer in your time? Oh no, 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 no. Why? It would be handy to have one. He looks around and he's like, Why, do you need something fixed? It would be nice if you could explain hyperspace. Ah. Uh, Gotcha. Like he's he's literally just clicked that like you're kinda of having a go at the fact that you'd rather somebody was smarter. <laughs> you're talking about <laughs> what they have. Yeah. And it's like my shortcomings aside, I don't know if that would help you too much given that my universe doesn't exist anymore. Which probably means hyperspace doesn't exist anymore. No, but we could understand why hyperspace exists in your universe and why drift exists in our universe. And whether one of those things should cause concern. Or if they are connected. Hmm. What, what do you mean? I mean, how are we both here? This isn't. And he kind of like taps the ground. He's like, this isn't like an in between place, is it? So. He like, he leans down and like puts his hand and like picks up like, you know soil, I guess. Like, kind of almost like ashy type soil. And he kind of like flicks off his hands. It feels kind of real. Yes. How did you get here? And he kind of just shrugs at you and looks up at you and stands back up and wipes his hands off again. On like his thighs and he's like, hmm. Probably gonna guess it was first. He kind of just narrows yeah. his eyes and looks over your shoulder. Uh, or as best he can given your size. Just, what's with the uh, mm, gestures to the arms? Chose a different path to you. He kind of like nods solemnly at that. He says, That's good. And kind of just like, almost like resignation, right? To that, co like mm. just that entire moment he's just had. <laughs> um, and he says, I don't know if I should uh, push my luck and see if I can stay, but <laughs> where else am I going to go, right? Well, where were you before this? I'm not necessarily sure I was anywhere before this. Like, my way of reaching you was as surprising to me as it seemed to be to you. I originally thought it was you making contact with me. So where did you exist before being here. So, I remember meeting you in that white space. Mm -hmm. And I remember meeting you before that, I think, in the white space. And both times you had an Isoki. Yes. And before that, I remember my universe dying. So you're up to date, buddy. 
Okay. Yeah. Unless you know, unless you know, reason why you can't stay if we're back in the real world. Ken's just like rolls his eyes at that, and obviously we hear them scream in subtitles. And uh, mm. yeah, he goes. I don't know if uh, he'd go for that though, will he? Would you? I mean, he did, but. Hmm. And just starts like rubbing his chin again. You hear like the kind of slight metallic tinkles of the uh, the stubble. There's only one way to find out. Okay, like. And we turn to start walking towards Epoch. Yeah. I think yeah. um, like Epoch's just kind of standing there, um, almost Mona Lisa esque. No matter where you kind of walk, like it's always staring at you. Right. Yeah. And uh, are you prepared? Uh, if we, if I could ask you a few questions first, that'd be appreciated. Um, I don't know if it responds to that. I think it. If it was going to say something, it'd be something really fucking abstract and weird anyway, right? Like, because <laughs> you've not asked it a question about. Anything you want to know, you've asked it if you were capable of asking questions. Yep. So I don't know if it would answer. Yeah. Um, I think it just so like does that thing where it moves its head slightly to indicate please continue. Firstly, my colleague here obviously does not come from this dimension. Can he remain here with me or wherever you are to send me next? None may remain here. You may go elsewhere. And will you send us both elsewhere, together? Do you both wish to go together? Yes. Then yes. Where is here? And then it looks around, as if taking in its surroundings for the first time. It says, the name of this location is Octurn to you. Oh, yes. When am I supposed to be here? Oh, sorry, you already said. It just what is it I need to understand? Unfortunately, that is not for me to know. But you know that I don't understand it. It is why I do not belong here now. This is a mistake. An oversight. You should not be here. Yet. A mistake in the same way that you accidentally destroyed Galerion. It tells us head. You have spoken to second. Yes. Then you almost understand. Why did you destroy it? There was no intention to destroy Galarian. And for me, it is not destroyed. What was the intention? Regarding Galarian, none. Why did it get destroyed? It narrows its eyes and kind of like turns to the side as if again like processing and uh, it says we were and unfortunately that was too much for Galarian to handle when you became Tryon? Yes. How did you find Drift? Find implies it was lost. Did you create Drift? I 
as far as you may understand, drift is because of us. Yes. The, the creation of drift is that involved in the destruction of anything else? Yes and no. Drift is indirectly responsible for the destruction of many things since. Yeah. It kind of like narrows its eyes at you as if it understands its ability to translate how it thinks into how you would hear things and understand things isn't helpful, right? So it's got that look of, hmm, I know you're frustrated. Um, and you probably know that look very well because it's your face you're seeing. <laughs> and uh, first then says, We are rectifying a mistake that was made in error. The destruction of Galarian. More and less than that. Is Octorn because of your mistake? No. Octorn is. Octorn exists in a state of flux in your present time. Thus, it presented a stage for this meeting. What do you mean, in flux? I am elsewhere. You are here. You should not be here yet. So Octon is trans-dimensional? Now his eyes like trying to process the words we're using, and he says, For a time, Octorn is. For you, time has yet to be, and has been. So Octorn is like, is a temporal constant that's allowing you to go back to create Galerion at the time that you destroyed it. Constant, no. And it kind of like screws up its face. Like, it doesn't like your use of the word constant, but it doesn't have a better word to put in. <laughs> um, it says, it is difficult to convey octurn and time. And then uh, and it doesn't get like a cup of water and a straw and lycol. Um, it, it doesn't bother with that like Sindale would. <laughs> and uh, it says you seem woven into the time direction which is why you should not be here yet so I'm in a different point in time you are early it kind of just la it laughs like once, right? Um, and uh, maybe in the soundtrack we have that same echo of that laugh, just like faded really quietly into the back of the dramatic sci-fi music that's probably playing. Um, and the uh, ending with good ears could hear it, that that laugh keeps going and going and going. But the so, yeah, go for it. Uh, this future. Have we lost? I do not know what your future holds. I am elsewhere. Are you in this dimension, this universe? Presently, yes. But not always. And it shakes his head, like, kind of slowly. I think it kind of smiles. Are you trying to create travel between different universes? 
No, but it does not mean that travel between other universes has not been created because of us. What are you doing in other universes? What are you doing in this universe? I don't have much of an option. Are you so sure about that? Yes, but if you can tell me otherwise. And it kind of like just points over your shoulder to query. He can't explain how he got here either. So no, it doesn't seem like a choice. You both have traversed universes, neither of which is a result of us. Yes, but I don't understand how we've done it, therefore I can't choose to do it. And that is why you should not be here yet. So I need to figure that problem out. If you feel like it would justify your being here for the next step, then yes. But that is your path. Very well. Okay, nods. And then, um, as you turn to maybe go back to query, to let him know technically that you've got my ticket <laughs> to go wherever you're going. Um, I feel like you take a couple of steps away. Goes. It may not be his path, however. And then that's the the final words of that like little dramatic scene, and you head back to query. Yep. So. Yeah, you're coming with me. Where? Wherever he sends me. Do we want to go there? Do you have a better idea of where we go, rather than where... Do you have is? day spas in your universe? Do I have what? Like a day spa. You know, where you go there, there's lots of attractive people, they massage you. It's, mm, great. Can't say I've been to one, but I'm sure we have them. Well, we will go to them. You know that universe saving thing that we were talking about? Mm-hmm. We should get on with that. What do you want me to do about that? I I already failed any gestures vaguely to the sky. <laughs> Which means you learned. Sure. So, come and teach us. Right. Um, okay. It kind of looks around at like the barren wasteland in semi turmoil that this place is. And he's like, I mean, I guess it'll be better than just being here or wherever I wasn't before. So that's something. Um, yes, yeah, your choice of being alone on a desolate planet. It's sinking out of time or in the nothingness of non existence. Although I understand that some people strive for that. You kinda of just like you know tell us his head back and his like, you know, eyebrows go up and his eyes go wide as if mm hmm <laughs> And uh it's like so uh how how do we do this? Epoch, we're ready to go. I think by that point like before you even, you know, get a chance to respond in any way, you're no longer there. Um, almost as if you never were there. Um, you might in fact be elsewhere. I I will cut back to Zig after the break because we're a wee bit over. Um, so we will take a we'll take a ten minute break here, which is what nine twenty, uh, and I will see everybody after the break. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.